Hi, my name is Matthew Celesta with Max Fields, and we're here today to have our first lesson in our series on working with nature, which is transplanting seedlings. Starting seeds in a container is a great way to save time, space, and resources. It also will allow us to get a jump start on the garden season. You can also buy seedlings directly from a local garden center, and this is a great way to bypass growing plants from seeds. But remember, when buying seedlings, bigger is not always better. Root-bound plants tend to be stressed during transplanting and also can prematurely flower. Okay, before we move on, let's get our tools together. Today, we will need a trowel, a watering can, some scissors, gloves are optional, seedlings, and don't forget some Maxfield's planting mix. Before you start transplanting, remember to amend your garden with Maxfield's soil conditioner. Please refer to our earlier video on amending native soils. First, let's plan where we're going to be putting our seedlings today. Take into account the amount of space each crop or variety will need. Now, let's apply some Maxfield's planting mix as a top dressing. You will, that you will be planting directly into. This is a great way to shelter and nourish the plant as it leaves its container and binds itself into the native soil. Let's turn the bag around and find out how much planting mix you will need. We recommend two to three inches for most raised beds and gardens. Once we've evenly laid out the planting mix on top of the raised bed or garden, let's start by making a small hole for the seedling. It is good to understand the desired depth of each variety or crop you will be using. Plants like tomatoes tend to be like to planted slightly deeper, while things like onions and lettuces like a more shallow planting. Once we've made the desired depth, let's make sure to have a little extra width in this hole as to be able to position the seedling once it's planted into the native soil. We also want to make sure the bottom of the hole is relatively flat and even so as the seedling will have direct contact with the native soil. Now that we got our hole prepped, let's go take our seedling. Some seedlings like to be pruned at the bottom, like tomatoes. As you can see here, I'm taking off the smaller uh, leaves and uh, shoots from the plant as to give more energy to the roots being established into the native soil than the above ground biomass. Once we've pruned and prepped the transplant, let's turn it upside down and take it out of its container. It's good to massage open or break open the roots. Here I'm doing it two different ways to make almost four different arms of roots at the bottom of my seedling. I'll position it in the hole to the desired depth and fill in any areas on the side with extra Maxfield's planting mix. At this point, I'm going to gently press down on the soil as to make sure that the seedling is positioned correctly and firmly into the ground. At this point, it's good to put in a shallow trench that will help us aid in watering. This shallow soil basin can be made about two or three inches from the stock of the transplant and will show, will help with moisture retention throughout the year. At this point, let's water it in and watch our plants grow. Let us know what questions you have about transplanting seedlings by posting on our Facebook page. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to watch other videos on establishing your roots, working with nature, and celebrating the harvest, all while cultivating the farmer within. You can also express yourself on our Twitter and Pinterest page and go get on our newsletter at www.maxfieldsorganics.com for free tips and tricks on growing your own food. Until next time, I'm Matthew Celesta. See you later.